Welcome to this video of explainingmaths.com about travel graphs and I, and I promise you that we're now going to construct our own distance time graph and this is a lot of text but let's filter uh, the important bits out, okay? Hannah leaves home at 7 o'clock, yeah? I'm sure that's important uh, to go to school and yeah? she walks at a constant speed, yeah? Um, and that speed is 6 kilometers per hour for 2 kilometers, okay? So constant speed of 6 kilometers per hour and she do, does that for 2 kilometers. Then she takes the bus at 7.40. She takes the bus, she's gonna put there a bus. And that's gonna take her uh, 20 minutes to travel 50 kilometers. Okay, she then walks one more kilometer and arrives at school at 8.15. All right, draw a graph to show her journey. A lot of information. Now, I always try to use the landscape um, position of my paper, uh, otherwise it doesn't fit. But in this case, I really need to do just a normal position of the paper, okay? I just can't fit it like this. So, um, I'll be moving it around a little bit, because I want to use as much space, as much of the paper as I can. And I already prepared bits of it, because she leaves at 7, and she arrives at 8.15, okay? So what did I do, <coughs> excuse me, I have divided my horizontal x into uh, where I say that each block is 10, cent, uh, 10 minutes, yeah? So 7.30, 8 o'clock, 8.10, so there it's gonna be 8.15. So here she's gonna be at school. And at school that's gonna be a particular distance away from her house, yeah? But we're gonna find out in a minute how far away. She leaves at seven o'clock, yeah? So we're gonna take it step by step. She walks at a constant speed, so the line is going to be straight, of 6 kilometers per hour for 2 kilometers. So she will walk 2 kilometers at 6 kilometers per hour. Now how long is that going to take her? Okay, that is what you have to ask yourself and perhaps calculate on a different piece of paper. So um, 6 kilometers per hour, that's what she is walking, um, and she does that two kilometers. So how long is that going to take her? Well, hopefully you realize it's gonna be less than an hour. She's gonna do six kilometers in an hour, okay? So she will do three kilometers in half an hour. Yeah, that is her speed, but she's only walking two kilometers. And hopefully you realize it's a third Two kilometers is a third of six kilometers. So it's gonna take her a third of an hour. And a third of an hour translated to minutes, yeah, so 60 minutes in an hour are 20 minutes. Does that fit on the screen, by the way? Sorry, guys, 20 minutes, okay? So, back to my graph. It's gonna take her 20 minutes to travel those two kilometers. And um, I said one unit is five. So two kilometers and 20 minutes, so that is gonna be here. So with a sharp pencil and a ruler, you are going to draw that line from the origin, and it's gonna be a line because her speed is constant, okay? And considering this is a distance time graph, her, with a constant speed, speed, that means a line like that, yeah? So please, uh, different shape between speed and distance time graphs. Okay, and then, what's going on? Then she takes the bus at 7.40, but she's there at 7.20. So she needs to stand still and look at the moon, well not the moon, hopefully anymore, well maybe the sun, yeah, for 20 minutes, yeah, because she is standing still. Her, 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 her distance isn't changing, but she's taking the bus at 7.40. And that is going to take her 20 minutes to travel 50 kilometers. So she has traveled two kilometers uh, plus another 50, so she will have traveled 52 kilometers. Okay, in 20 minutes. So she'll arrive there at eight o'clock. Yeah, because at 7.40, so eight o'clock, 52. And that's why I needed all this space to go to 52, uh, which is all the way then over here. Okay, and I'm going to draw that line with my ruler, and you do that with your sharp pencil. There we go, so the bus is doing 
most of the work for Hanna, fortunately. Okay. Yeah, you see that? So again, a constant speed. She then walks another one kilometer extra, yeah, and she arrives at school at 8.15. Okay, so when she has finally reached there with the bus, she uh, walks another one kilometer. So if this is 52, that will be at 53 kilometers, and she arrives school at 8.15. So I go to 8.15 and then 53, and um, yeah, that is uh, roughly here. Yeah, you have to be a little bit more accurate with your skill, but that will represent that last part of her journey, okay? So that is where school is. Okay, so looking at the graph, she walks at a constant speed, she has to wait for the bus for 20 minutes, and the bus takes her to school, and she walks another kilometer and arrives at school at 8.15. Good, so by looking at a piece of text, we can also construct our own distance time graph. Next video, we're gonna look at speed time graphs, and we're also gonna have a look at what the area underneath the speed time graph tells us. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.